Let's continue with the Tron Light Cycle tutorial. Now, we will create more details for the wheel holes. Select the Loop Selection tool. Then select the wheel's polygon center edges. Scale the selection. Like this. Next, extrude. And that's it. Let's continue modeling. As you can see, plenty of details were added to the cycle. Next, we will add more details to the top of the cycle. For this purpose, select these polygons. Then, select the knife tool on path mode. Select the path and click with the mouse. OK. Next, select the path polygons. Select the bevel tool and create new polygons. Like this. To continue, select the new polygon. Then, select the Extrude tool, and extrude three times. Then, render the scene. We can see it turned out really well. Well, at this point of the tutorial, we have done most of the modeling process. As you can see, we added plenty of details. Like these rings on the wheels, that were added on both sides using the symmetry tool. The model has more details, created using the knife tool, and then the extrude tool. We have almost completed the cycle model. To continue, we need a pilot. Here we have a model. We just need the body, since we will use a helmet as the head. Copy this model and drag it to Hypernerves. As you see, it is detailed enough. And this object looks really good. We can also see the suit's details. Here we have the helmet. 
we will drag it to hypernerbs to round the edges. As you see, it turned out really good. Next, paste both objects into the cycle scene. OK. Next, we will create the pilot's armor. This armor is part of the cycle. For this purpose, create a cube object and edit the object. Move the cube and place it right here. Make the object editable and start modeling like this. Next, we will extrude the polygon on the back three times and continue modeling. Keep extruding like this, then provide the shape. OK. As you can see, we completed half of the pilot's armor. Also notice we activated hypernerves. We will improve some parts, modeling like this. All right. As you see, we almost completed the armor. Next, select Extrude Inner Tool and extrude like this. OK. We have a total of four polygons. To continue, we will extrude these polygons. OK. It turned out really well. Now, we are finally done with the light cycle and pilot models. We also added the final details like the handlebars and pedals. To complete the model, we will create the cycles engine. First, create a cylinder object. 
Second, we will provide this shape to the object. Select the points on the top of the object. And rotate them few degrees. Then, select the following polygons like this. Next, select the Extrude Inner tool. Before extruding any polygon, deactivate the Preserve Groups option. Move the mouse slowly, and you will get something like this. OK, great. Third, select the Extrude tool and extrude the selected polygons. This is the result. Well, as you can see, we have already created more engine parts. On the top, we are using an oil tank object. Make the object editable. Select the polygons in the middle. Select again the Extrude tool. And extrude the selected polygons. Then, provide this shape. OK. Perfect. Next, rotate the selected polygons. As a result, we have a more detailed engine now. Well, let's continue modeling. As you have seen, the process was really simple. Next, group all the objects and copy them to the cycle scene. Finally, scale the engine and fit it into the cycle. OK. It turned out great. We finally finished the cycle model. It looks great. All the parts are in place. We can see details, like the engine and wheels. Don't forget to visit cinema4dtutorial.net to check out the third part of the tutorial. Also visit our store to check out our latest models. In the next tutorial we will assign textures, create the landscape, animate the scene and finally render the scene. Thank you for watching this tutorial. See you next time in Tron Light Cycle Tutorial Part 3. Goodbye.